ladies and gentlemen, live on the Fuse UK. It's the one and only, the man of the hour, the man with the power, the man too sweet to be sour. He is your friend. He is my friend, but he's not the friend behind the person standing behind you. Luke Yes, people, what's happening? A nice one for coming back to the Fuse UK. It's much appreciated as always. Got a very special guest on the show tonight. Not just one of the greatest women of all time in the BKFC, but one of the greatest fighters to ever enter the ring inside the BKFC. It's none other than Christine, Miss Biff Faria. What's happening, what's Christine? You good? Good. How are you? Just taking my dog to the to the vet, get her, her nails clipped. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that a little chihuahua? Yes, a chihuahua. <laughs> the only little dogs on it, but they've got, they've got a big ego. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the little ones. <laughs> <laughs> Class. I was wondering if we could start this, Christine, by just going back to the Beck Rawlins fight, you know, your last oh. outing. Yes. And just how you felt in that fight, all in all. Yeah. Um. This this the second fight felt good. Um. I felt ready. I felt you know I had a good team around me. Good sparring. Uh, was in a decent shape for that fight. Um, I wanted the knockout, but she's a tough, tough girl. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, and obviously that—that's the second time you fought her, isn't it? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. The first time I don't feel like I had some some stuff going on, and I mean, no excuses. But um, you know, she was catching me a little bit more, and I didn't expect um, her to be so great with her uh, counter. She has a great counter um, game. You know, I think that's her natural state. So. Um, I, I expected her to come forward because usually in her fight, she's just going forward and, and uh, attacking. And yeah. that's really what I expected. And so when I got in there and she was just countering me the whole time, um, it surprised me. Yeah. And so what's been happening with yourself since BKFC 56? Oh, man, just, I mean, I, I healed up, let my hands heal up, let my body heal up. And um, just got back into, uh, trend. are you looking for Rocky? Okay. Um, I, I, sorry. Um, right. so I just let myself heal up and I've been in the gym probably about three and a half weeks after, you know, yeah, got engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Class. And, um, you pretty much beat everybody who they've sort of put to you now in the BKFC, yeah. but is, have you still got the fire in your belly because you've held the title for that long or, is it more fire now than ever because you're more reachable for them big fights that are going to come your way? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy. You know, I just called out Cyborg. She she accepted. So, I mean, that's something that, you know, I think beating Beck and, and, and being so dominant in what I – in my division, it just – I got her attention. She wants to take the fight. So, I I'm pretty excited for that. Yeah, that's a massive fight. And yeah. um, can this fight actually happen? Have they spoke about it? I'm sorry? Is this fight like, can it actually happen? Oh, it's going to happen. It's happening. Oh, that's mint. It's What's happening. It? I don't know when when exactly, but it'll be sometime. I believe it'll be half, it's, man, half the, about half the year, about maybe June, July, somewhere around there. Wow, that's going to be a massive fight, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. What's your thoughts on Cyborg as a fighter? Like, obviously, she was a great fighter and what she does, but what's your thoughts on it as a fists only, bare knuckle fist fight? Um, to be honest, I'm a fan of Cyborg. So, yeah. I mean, she was in my weight class. So, of course, you know, and when I, when I was first coming up, she was already, already, she was fighting Gina Carano. So, that's my, the very first fight I ever went to in my life was Chris Cyborg's fight. Stood in line for her autograph. Got her autograph. So this is this is crazy for me. Um, I I really admire her, love her her struggle. Every, you know, a lot of people didn't want to fight her. Or my struggle. A lot of people didn't want to give her opportunity. Again, my struggle. I looked to her when I, I used to study her training and how hard she trained and always trying to get so big and strong and <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> like that was my my goals. Like I studied her, Mike Tyson, and um, so. She, she's a phenomenal fighter. Do I think that she can beat me in bare knuckle? No. Even with the size difference, I just think that I know what I'm doing there. I have the experience. 
I may be the smaller fighter, but um, it, it's not size. It, it, size does matter. I, I'm not. I'm not ever gonna say like a one hit could put me out. That's that's facts. Um, but I believe I'm. I got great defense and I have great speed counters and my IQ is is definitely um, much higher in bare knuckle as well. And how how does it feel for yourself? Obviously, you've looked up to Cyborg, like being a fan of theirs, went to a shows and that. Like when you're on your own, when you're going home on a night and you think, fucking hell, like I've just been in the ring with Cyborg. Like what 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 do you think? <laughs> man, oh man, it's I'm like wow, dude. Like I never thought I would get to that point where I would even feel confident enough to be able to be like, you know what, I want to fight Cyborg. Like I really want to, but I yeah. trained so much. I have confidence in myself in surviving that fight and being able to actually be victorious in that fight. It, the, they're like, I know at any point in bare knuckle, especially you can get knocked out at any time. And that's great because I haven't had this much of a challenge yet. Like all, everyone's dangerous in bare knuckle, no matter what, what weight, but this is a different kind of dangerous. So yeah, it, it feels crazy, and I, it's going to push me to a whole other level in my training. It's going to—it's igniting like that beginning thing again. You know, when you start fighting, it's just like you're kind of like, "Oh shit, I like, can I do this? I don't know." You know, kind of brings me to that state of like having to push it to the next level. Like I, I'm always training hard, and I'm always pushing, but this is a whole new level that I'm going to have to bring to her. Yeah, like if you said, "I want the meanest." person you can get me on the planet to fight in bkfc it would be cyborg wouldn't it yeah. oh absolutely <laughs> and the most aggressive and the strongest <laughs> and the most powerful so you know winning this fight would it's a huge accomplishment for me and and i can't ask for more to be honest with you that's the, the biggest challenge i can give myself Besides uh, Cyborg and that, did you ever see yourself being where you are now? Because besides Cyborg, you're doing massive things, aren't you, in the bare knuckle and for yourself. Did you ever see right. yourself getting to this level? I mean, that was my idea. You know, we all have big dreams, big hopes. We can only try as hard as we can, never give up. And there are many times that, I mean, I just, you know, getting denied, trying out for promotions. They just didn't want me, didn't want me, didn't want me. It got discouraging. And so I'm just like, but somewhere inside me wouldn't let me quit. No matter what I lost, no matter what job I lost, no matter what girl I lost, what no matter how much um, sacrifice I was not having with my family, the times I had to sacrifice holidays and going out and doing this, blah, 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 on and on. Something deep inside wouldn't let me stop. So no matter who was telling me to stop or who was telling me how dumb I was for doing what I'm doing, because, you know, being a fighter, people are like, why are you doing this? Yeah. You know, this doesn't pay, this doesn't do this, da, 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 da. you're a girl in the sport, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, I mean, it's it's been a tough road, and I've, I've had to really dig deep and get my mental strong. I've had to do a lot of mental work and um, really find uh, faith in myself and, and my beliefs and trusting my decisions and trusting my instincts. Look where it's got you, yeah, you're one of the faces of the sport now. Yeah. 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 And it's been, it's just the struggle, you know, when, when you overcome and you push through hard things, you know, it sucks at the time, but it, it builds, it builds a resilience in you that nobody can break. Yeah, definitely. And have you, before we move on, have you got any messages for uh, Cyborg and the okay. fight? Like, or like not, nothing disrespectful. Or yeah, anything. I, I would, I would, I can't be disrespectful to her. Um, you know, Chris, I just just get ready because I'm coming. Um, get get those knuckles ready because I have a hard head and I'm gonna get back up. You you drop me, I ain't going out. You know, um, I what kind of damage gets put on me. I'm going. I'm coming forward and and I can take people. You, every, the world is gonna see what dog I really have in me. They haven't been able to see what dog I have in me. And people in the gyms do and they see the beatings I'm taking from the dudes and all that, but. I have an energy and I have a, a desire to be great so big that it I I can't stop and nothing's gonna stop me. No, definitely isn't. Definitely isn't, Christine. And um have you got any comments on the fight this Saturday between Taylor Stalin and Jenny Savage? What's what's your uh, thoughts on the may fight? The, may, may the best woman win. <laughs> I know them both, so I, I 
I'm not going to comment there. That's, there's been a little co uh, conflict of interest. You know, I, I'm friends with, I was, I was, you know, yeah. friends with them both and I helped them both at one time and it's just, it got yeah, sticky. It got sticky. <laughs> what, what, what do you think of Alvedi or Mick Terrell winning the title? What did you think of that fight? Oh man, dope. That's, you know, sick. You know, um, you know, I, I saw Mike, uh, Mark, uh, Hunt. Say no, sorry. Hunt called him out. Oh, yeah, Mark Hunt. <laughs> That's what I'm interested in. What a legend. I want to see that. So, <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, I, I want to see that fight. I want to see, uh, yeah, I'm I'm so glad he came over. That's going to be a dope fight too. Yeah, it definitely is. And who who is your favorite UK fighter? Ah, uh, I have a lot. <laughs> I have a <laughs> lot, but I love you know. There, I helped um Tyler Goodjohn. You know when he first came over and came into into BKFC, and yeah. um, so he, he's uh, and I love I love Connor Tierney. I love um what's the other what, I'm sorry, my, my mind's like, I have so much Lily. going on. Uh, oh, Lily's one of my favorite right now. Lily is like m my favorite right now. I love his style. I love him. He's like the sweetest dude. Like, I met him in person a, a couple times, and his style of fighting, just everything about him, I love. Yeah, we've got some great fighters over here. Hopefully, oh, we'll yeah. see you over here one day. Yeah, absolutely. I would love that. <laughs> I'll let you get going, Christine, because I know you're very busy there with a the pooch. Yeah, I'm glad but, we got that. We finally got on together. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I really appreciate you coming on, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too.